Boosting Intelligence Committee investigation into Russian hacking during the U.S. election. But ranking Democrats and several committees uh, say that's not enough. One of those Democrats, Maryland Congressman Elijah Cummings, he's joining us now from Baltimore. He's the ranking member of the House Oversight Committee. Why isn't that enough, uh, Congressman? Well, first of all, Mr. Nunes is on Donald Trump's transition team. Uh, and one of the things that we need to do in this situation is we need to have uh, an investigation that has integrity. Uh, I listened to one of your earlier guests talking about whether the motive uh, for the Russians' uh, uh, interference was to sway the election in Donald Trump's favor. Let's be clear. That, that, and to me, that's a distraction. The question is uh, that we've got 17 intelligence agencies that we pay that put their lives on the line, that we pay $70 billion a year to get intelligence, and they have said a fact that the Russians did interfere with our elections. Whatever the motive may be, uh, Wolf, uh, we need to look into that, and it needs to be uh, bipartisan, it needs to be independent. I believe that it needs to be a commission, something like the 9-11 Commission, where you don't get all muddy in politics, because the American people deserve to know if a foreign government, uh, which is not a friend of the United States, is interfering with our elections. President Obama uh, the other day announced he wants a full-scale intelligence community investigation, and he wants the results before he leaves office on January 20th. Uh, why isn't that enough? First of all, I applaud the president for doing that, but. Uh, I think that that will get us some, ba some basic information to start with. This investigation to do to be done properly may take uh, quite a while, uh, long after the president has left office. So I think what we'll do with that is we'll get some basic information, but there's some, something else that needs to happen. The entire Congress needs to know about what is going on with the Russians. Uh, only a few members of Congress now have seen the secret documents. That's one of the reasons why I joined Steny Hoyer and many others in asking uh, that, uh, that we have a briefing uh, from our intelligence community. Again, keep in mind, this, is a, a, this has been an effort uh, based upon 17 uh, intelligence agencies uh, have told us that the highest level of the Russian government was involved in this and that it happened. So now how do we make sure that we figure out how it happened, uh, how we can prevent it from happening, uh, in the future. Now, if there is, if, if they were, they had certain motives, I think that those, the Russians had certain motives, I think that those things will come up in the midst of investigation. We have always said in our committee that we follow the evidence wherever it may lead. But, but right now, I'm more concerned of just trying to figure out exactly what happened, how it happened, and how can we make sure that it doesn't happen again. And every American should be uh, concerned about that. And as I've said to you before, Wolf, uh, this is a fight for the soul of our democracy. And, uh, and I'm going to fight with everything I've got. Congressman, I want you to listen to something that the outgoing Senate Democratic leader, Harry Reid, told our correspondent up on Capitol Hill, Mano Raju, yesterday. Listen to this. The DNC was hacked. Everybody knew that. We knew WikiLeaks was coming out, drip by drip by drip. They wouldn't do it all at once, of course, because they were coordinating this, obviously, from with the Trump folks and the Russians. Are you aware of any evidence that there was coordination, as he claims, between the Trump folks, that's, those are the words he used, uh, and the Russians? I don't know of any, but again, uh, that's what the investigation is all about. That's why we need to look into it. The evidence will lead us to where we need to go. And I would hope, and I would think, that uh, President-elect Trump would join us in this effort. Uh, after all, he uh, swears, just like we do, to uphold the Constitution and and protect us from enemies domestic and abroad. Uh, so this is a part of our duty. This is not doing the American people a favor. This is our job. So what should the U.S. do if the U.S. intelligence community uh, has concluded, and they did conclude, uh, what, on October 7, 2016, as you point out, uh, in a statement that Clapper, uh, General Clapper, the head of the, uh, uh, the Director of National Intelligence, Jay Johnson, the Secretary of Homeland Security, they said the U.S. intelligence community is confident that the Russian government directed the recent compromises of emails from U.S. persons and institutions referring to the Democratic National Committee. And they said, we believe, based on the scope and sensitivity of these efforts, that only Russia's senior...
here most officials could have authorized these actions. So what should the U.S. do about that? They've already reached that conclusion. The Russians did it. Highest levels of the Russian government were involved. What's your, what's your recommendation? I, what does that, the U.S. That, do about that? Let me be clear. I, I, want, I want the investigation, first of all, and I want the people who address these issues every day that the, those 17 agencies to come back with their recommendations. I'm not the expert in this area. That's why we have experts. So we want to, I want to hear what they have to say. Uh, after all, we do pay them just $70 billion a year. And, and I'm sure they'll come back with the recommendations. And hopefully the Congress and the president will follow those recommendations, uh, uh, Wolf.